Corey Casper, pick three. Remember, this is Corey Kisper, pick three. And the topic today we're going to be talking about is four things I want to address today is uh, what pick three numbers wins the most, okay? And the next thing I want to talk about is how do you win the Illinois pick three? And what are the odds of hitting the pick three? Okay, and then the fourth one is, what is the best strategies for the pick, picking lottery numbers? Okay, we're going over all four of those right now. First one, we're going to adjust what is pick three numbers that wins the most. And this is what we found here. If you see, uh, 517 hit about six times. Okay, let's see it, show it to you on the screen here. I'm going to show it to you here. It's 17, the number 17 here on the screen. And it's, I'll show you a little bit of the numbers. If you can look up at 17 right here. And look right here. It shows you all these numbers, 5, 8, 1. Uh, the number we're looking at, 157 here. Yeah showing me about 17 times this is the reason why it's also on here at 31 times as your number but you look here 517 571 hold on and this number just comes it's showing up on the board if you can see through the screen but if you don't uh just basically go through what i'm you know telling you right now you know so that's all i can really show you so much onto the screen because it's not so much there as you might even be able to pick up onto the screen so much. Um, so, uh, what I'm basically going to show you and tell you is how do you, the uh, second step is how do you win the Illinois pick three? Okay. And that's really simple of how to win the Illinois pick three. Okay. Uh, I don't know why the light keep on jumping off on this screen. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why the light is just jumping off. It's just, I don't know if it's on a timer or whatever. But <clears throat> how do you win the Illinois Pick 3? Pick 3, you can play in, in a store or sign up on Illinois Web AP, okay? To play in the store, you go to the nearest retail. It's, it, it'd be the grocery store or the gas station. And ask for the pick three uh, slips and, and choose your favorite one from zero to nine. That's basically where you do it. And there are six play styles. Straight, box, and straight box, and combo, and front pair, and back pair. Okay. Okay, and let's go over what they are. Straight. It's like, say, if you put down the number one, two, three. Let's look at it. Watch it on a piece of paper. Okay. And then and we don't go over all, all these at one time. Okay. This is the straight numbers right here. Okay. You can see that. Okay. Maybe need more, a little bit more light up in here. Maybe. That's enough light. Okay. Okay. Straight. See that? Hey, be better for that stream over there. Uh, straight there. And, yeah, one, two, three. And then you got one, three, two. It's like a box and all this other stuff. Uh, straight box is one, two, three. Three, two, one. This is how you win them. You know, straight box, you can win more money. There's about three different type of ways of winning that combo. You got, you know, one, two, three or front. Front, you, uh, front pair and back pair is just like one and two. Or, you know, if the number comes straight, one and two. Or back pair is only two numbers in the back. You know, you have two and three, and you got the number in your back pair. You win like that, you know what I'm saying? That's how stuff is. And straight payout is $5. You know, you can pay, you can make $500. You know, you say if you put one, two, three in a, <clears throat> a straight uh, payout. And you can make uh, 
easy for one dollar for five hundred dollars uh, straight uh, play out uh, five times and <clears throat> here you can win twenty five hundred dollars you know and then you can also play your mainly five balls and all this other stuff and, you know other little things you know it's because that now uh, but uh, I'm just basically showing your obligation of, of what <clears throat> what you can do now let's go on to what is my third topic I'm talking about what are the odds of hitting the pick three <clears throat> what is your odds of hitting the pick three I'm gonna tell you here is your odds of winning the pick three let's see if I have a sheet over here that gives you the odds your odds of winning a straight number and maybe we need to come fix that night again maybe see that okay the odds of winning i'm gonna tell you right here yeah <clears throat> from a straight odds of winning is one and one hundred or uh, one thousand one and one thousand okay so uh and the prize is like five hundred dollars now box match any order one bet okay so your three way three way is a two likely name of one in three three thirty seven so that's a three way three way is a uh, hundred sixty dollars that's most ways people who win <clears throat> or a six way uh is a so one three different way uh one six seven like that or something like one in six sevens and it's a payout of 80 bucks. So really one in six, seven to six way box is, is basically the way, I don't know why this light keep on jumping off. It just want to aggravate me today. Damn. Uh, maybe that's another way of telling me the battery going off. Uh, that's the way of uh, uh, winning today, you know? Uh, <clears throat> Uh, three-way difference uh, numbers, you know. Uh, so, let me keep this on for, for some reason. The light keep on jumping out. I don't want to keep on flipping with the light. I don't know why the light the light is doing it today. I don't know why. But let's get back. It's trying to throw me off from <laughs> of my topic. Okay. What is the best strategy for pick three lottery numbers? Okay. And let me tell you. Those best strategies are, okay, <clears throat> the best strategy of winning the pick three number is right here, okay, let's, see, let's, let's, let's do this, okay, <clears throat> pick three numbers, okay, uh, and the best strategy to winning the numbers is doing a little of this, uh, you do your numbers with highs, and lows. You got to pick which one you want. Uh, here, my strategy, I pick highs and lows. And like I said, I don't want to make this a long video. And the reason why I pick a high number and a low number, and you got to have your key numbers there. You can, you can have two highs and two lows. You can have two evens. And you got to have two of these on there. I got, I picked two, I picked the highs, two lows, uh, one even and three odds. That's my strategy to pick a number, you know. But you can you can do them all kind of ways. And <clears throat> when I get a chance, I'm gonna put them all down here because all of them are very important because they changes up stuff. They, if they made it like this, where you just do all highs and lows, that would be nice. Everybody be winning in, but there's no way. Yeah, that's the reason why a lot of changes it a lot. So I got. Three highs, one high, two lows, and three even. And here is reason why. So, so it's my number here. Okay, see, I got zero one one five, right? And zero one one five is what? Three lows, right? And one high. So, does this actually recommend what this this talking about? Yeah, three lows and one high. And this and does this recommend this uh, e? And three uh three odds, yeah, it does because yeah, I got one even number is a zero and two odd numbers is one one five. So that's what I'm talking about 
strategy you got to know how to use with your numbers. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to look at what the numbers are tomorrow and see what the numbers are. This is 25 numbers right here, what I picked up. I could have said, let me let me use a high. I'm going to do these strategies all through all strategies too. I could have said, let me use the high like I did in two and three lows. And I could have said, let me see two even and two odds. Or I could say, let me see two eight, three evens and one odd. See what I'm saying? So you switch them around. This is how the numbers uh, door numbers nowadays and when I get my board my blackboard this coming week you'll see that but this is how they do stuff they could have switched this around and you can have two highs and two lows okay you could have had two highs two lows and then you could have had this same chart one even three odds and then you go to two even Two odds. I don't like to do all evens and do all odds because those strategies never win that long. You know what I'm saying? They very they win one time out of a million and then they come out. You know, but it's best to put them all down there. You have two even, two odds. You know what I'm saying like that. And this is the way how you can play your numbers. Yeah, this is the way you can play your numbers where you can uh key the win your uh your your game. So this is how we are uh, going to do things uh to keep that strategy going. So the next time when I do these numbers, I'm gonna probably have all those uh tables filled for you so you can see that. This is the key way of winning numbers, you know what I'm saying? It might be a ton of numbers. Well, uh, but you don't play all those numbers at one time. You just play that strategy of that particular strategy. Like I got this one high, two low, three uh, lows right here. This is the strategy I play here. One, uh, one, uh, 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 three odds and one even. That's the strategy I play here. You just hope it just come out. That's the basic thing it is. You don't know. You're not guaranteed what numbers don't come out. There's no guarantee to this, but it's just a strategy you got to play to win. You know what I'm saying? Your strategy come out, it comes out. It's good. But I would, you know what I do? I keep all those tables of strategies there. So if I got a strategy right now, a high and three lows, and one even and three three odds, okay, the next table I'm going to bring out, I'm going to bring out too high and too low. A lot of times you can just go into the strategy and check it out, but a lot of time I'll tell you, your strategy changes up on you. That's what the lottery don't want you to know. And this is where me, the expert for a lottery man, uh, does, you know, on this channel, uh, on my channel. And <clears throat> like I say, I try to really do everything under a good level. You know, for this Corey Crispy pick three uh, numbers for everybody to understand where 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 does it go? A very smart strategy of of this whole thing, up. Like I'm um, here, like I say, you look at the numbers here. I got down on the piece of paper, right? See all that? All this is under highs, three lows, and one even and three odds. So. You can look at that if you want to. I think you can copy it down. So, you know what I'm saying? So you can understand those strategies. And what I'm telling you about, well, after you do that, you stay with this high, three, stay with the three highs and three lows. Just change this over here. If that's your strategy for the week, stay with the one high and three lows. And then you go with even and odds. So then you change that up, make it two evens and two odds. Likely you'll probably win with that. And then you change the third one up, three evens and one odd. Okay, then you got your you got those three sheets right there. So next time you go you go get your sheet, you make it two highs. 
and then two, uh, what is it, two lows? This is pick four numbers, you know? So about that and the, uh, more I've been talking about pick three numbers, but I know this is kind of like flipping over, like, where are you going to, man? But, uh, yeah, I'm just showing you this in the pick four number, and it's also used keenly in the pick three numbers as well, okay? So... I don't want nobody to be like sitting out like, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, what is he talking about? Is he he jumping from from his stuff wasn't about pick three numbers, and he's talking about like pick four numbers. But what I'm saying in this situation is that you can do it in pick three, pick four number, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Basically, it's the same strategy. I am showing this in pick four because I've been doing a lot of stuff in pick four, you know, I should have had did this in pick three numbers, but, uh, it's kind of complicated, you know, I've been doing something else, been doing something else the whole entire day, you know, so, uh, yeah, I should have, I should have made this more into the pick four, but you get the brief of it, of what I'm talking about. So when you put your numbers down, this is how you how you think it. Every trip in the pick three number, you you got one high and two lows. Okay, you got one e, two odds. It's even even better than that. So then you can go with two even and one odds. Okay, on your numbers, or you can go in the pick three numbers. You're gonna go with we don't want. I don't like going with all evens and all odds. I don't like that. Really, I don't even care if it's in the pick three or whatever. But in the pick three number, you can have a number like, you know what I'm saying? So if your number is one high and two lows in the pick three number, you will have a number like this. One high and two lows, and then you have one even and two outs, right? And I can do this right now while we're on camera right now. Okay, so... And, and high number, you would say we just use five as a high number. And, and a low number, you can just put down, look, like, we can put down uh, maybe zero. But then you got to also ask yourself, you got only can have one even number and two odds. So it would be zero, right? And here, we look, we're we looking at two low numbers. So we'll say zero and we'll say maybe one. Because we got two odds, so five zero one be your, your number, right? So then we go through that all through this whole entire table, and we say five zero one, okay? And then we go with five, what is that? Um, five zero three, and there we go. We finish right there, right? Basically, because we got the two odd numbers right there, and we would look for two low numbers, and then we go on. So our next number would be seven, right? And we go with seven, right? It'd be your next number. Or you could probably sit back and say, wait a minute, man. You just said zero. Well, where's the two at? Okay, and you might have a point. Five. You don't want to jump the gun. And then you say two and one. And then five, two, right? And what would be the next number after that? And some people sit back and say, what, well, man? What about 511? Okay, can, can we do that? We can't do 511 because, reason why? Because we live for one number got to be even. So, there we go. 521. 5, what? 3, 3. Okay, so these are the five odd numbers right there, right? So, some people might. You know, but see, once you jump the gun, you better know where you're at first. So then we go on to the next number. We we'll say five. What? We go into three columns, right? Okay, five, three, and we can say five, three, what? Five, three, two. We'll be right back to the same number, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, we go into three columns. What we going right back to five, three, two, right? And that's the number already there. So that's up to you. You want to actually scratch that on or whatever. You know, you want to play another same numbers like, oh, okay. 
but you find odds is two odds, one even, right? And then you go on to same thing with the rest of your numbers. You go on to seven. You go on to your seven column. You can go on to seven column now, right? And people will sit back and say, wait a minute, I have seven columns. Yeah. What are you talking about, man? You're supposed to go on to the fourth column, right? And you're right. And we have five, four, what? Five, four, one. Right? And then we go on. I ain't, I ain't going to worry about that light going off again. It just went off again. So I'm not going to keep on uh, turning that light back on because it's just not going to sit on for me today. I guess because of the battery being low. And just like anything else in the world, when it goes low, <clears throat> can't do nothing about it. I know I'm just gonna let you mess up my video today. Okay, so five, four, one. Okay, so then we go on to the next number, right? And we say five, what's it? Five, four, five, four, three. Clear your number, right? Bam, there we go. We there, right? Are we, uh, are we seeing this, right? So. That equals up to everything I'm talking about. And then, what about, can we use five double fives? Can we use double fives? Yeah, we can use double five, 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 two. And then we go on to what? Double five, five, four, all right? And there we go. We got uh, even two odds right there to define everything what we were talking about. One high, two lows, okay? That's define what we were talking about. So that's what I am basically saying here you could go up to sevens and you do on the sevens and you go on to what go on the nines remember when you look at your numbers you say hey okay my my, my friend we can go fives what is your main strategy here it's one high and two lows right but what about the ease let's say one even and two odds. It don't tell you which one is stopping. So after you stop with five, you go on to six, right? So you see not no slowdown. You go on to seven, right? Don't think both well, everything is just smooth out. And then you go on to eights. You go on to nines. Right. So there there you go, there's your table right there. You know what I'm saying? It didn't it doesn't tell you that the number of even should be not hot. It doesn't tell you nothing about the odds from not being a high number. It just say one high. That's it. And they say two evens. So that's your strategy right there. And then you, you and once the, that day is over, you can look at that number and say to yourself, Whoa, this guy's right. This Mr. Lottery man is correcting uh two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine numbers, right? So, if we go on to 9 times what? How many numbers are we talking about uh, total? Now, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So, that's 9 times what? If we already see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that would be 9 itself, right? And then we said 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. Five. Right. Okay, so we got five to six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll be four times, right? Times nine. Thirty-six numbers. Right? <clears throat> so you got a total of thirty-six numbers on your list. Okay? So maybe it is a good thing to do is play play your next number on the three columns. Maybe you can get your double number out of this whole thing. And on top of that, you might even catch the number itself. That's the strategy that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that high number could be, you could switch anywhere with the numbers. The high number don't have to be there at the beginning. It just that's what you don't put it. You can pick that high number could be all the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you'll get a total of 36 numbers out of this uh, strategy, probably. And then on top of that, uh, what you gonna do with it is up to you. You know, see how much 
anything you win out of that strategy. You know, if the number's only forty dollar box, right? If the number's forty dollar box, you want to at least be able to kiss that much to win some of your money back for a lot of loss, right? But if not, you want to win the big money for that two hundred ninety dollars out of thirty six or two. Uh, right, because basically you don't be playing your number straight in box, right? You don't want to try to win 290. So this is the way, and I didn't mean this video if it goes so long, to play your numbers. Remember, Corey Crisper, pick three. Thank you.